William and Kate recently marked their 10th wedding anniversary together with an outpouring of positive messages sent in their direction. Their relationship has become one of the Cambridge's most notable characteristics. Although they broke up for around 10 weeks during 2007, the pair rekindled their love, and after getting engaged in 2010 haven't looked back. In the years since their wedding they have also welcomed three cheeky additions into the Cambridge fold. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. But as they prepared to tell the world that they were expecting their first child, Kate and William were left disappointed at how their baby announcement was ultimately handled. According to royal commentator Ashley Pearson, the birth announcement of Prince George did not go to plan, particularly as Kate herself developed a rare condition during the pregnancy. She was hospitalized after suffering from hyperemesis gravidarum, an acute form of morning sickness which is incredibly rare in women. It would see the Duchess forced to spend time in London's King Edward VII Hospital. But with those inside Buckingham Palace and St. James Palace concerned the media and public may ask why the Duchess was in hospital, a snap decision was made to confirm Kate was expecting. Speaking on the 2017 Amazon Prime documentary, Kate Middleton, working class to Windsor, Ms. Pearson said, William and Kate had talked at length about how they wanted to make this announcement to the world, and it's certainly WASNT going to be this way, and at that stage in the pregnancy. Most celebrities, particularly royals, wait until that first trimester is finished before they make any happy announcements. But because Kate was taken very suddenly to the hospital, because of her severe morning sickness condition, the palace was forced to issue a statement as to why she was there, and the news of the pregnancy was leaked. The announcement came at around the seven to eight week mark, royal commentator Victoria Murphy claimed, which was way off the traditional 12 week timeframe announcements are usually made. Inside the media and some parts of the royal family, speculation over her pregnancy continued to grow. Many felt that it was only a matter of time until Kate and William confirmed their baby intentions. Royal author Robert Jobson noted prior to the 2012 announcement there was an awful lot of anticipation of when news she was expecting would break. He said, in fact, I think the announcement was suggested for about six months beforehand. I think everyone was writing in the papers that she was pregnant. The palace put out the official announcement as she was en route to the hospital because she had problems with the pregnancy. It was felt that William and Kate didnt even want to tell the Queen or Prince Charles that she was pregnant, until they were absolutely certain that everything was okay. George would be welcomed to the world by Kate and William in 2013, and was born in the same hospital as his father, London's St. Mary's Hospital's Lindo Wing. Kate herself reflected on the condition she had suffered, and last year explained to podcast Happy Mum, Happy Baby, that she had taken several hypnobirthing classes in a bid to calm her during labor, and to combat the morning sickness. She said, It was through hyperemesis that I really realized the power of the mind over the body because I really had to try everything and everything to try and help me through it. I'm not going to say that William was standing there sort of, chanting sweet nothings at me. He definitely wasn't. I didn't even ask him about it, but it was just something I wanted to do for myself. I saw the power of it really, the meditation and the deep breathing and things like that, that they teach you in hypnobirthing, when I was really sick and actually I realized that this was something I could take control of, I suppose, during labor. It was hugely powerful and because it had been so bad during pregnancy, I actually really quite liked labor. 